Hey there, today I'll be showing you how to draw Chibi Falcon. So we're going to start with the inner part of the goggles. We're going to draw two straight lines down the middle. One on the left, and then one on the right, leaving enough space in the middle in between. From here I'm going to draw a curve for the upper part of the goggle lens. From here we're going to curve out, out to the outside, towards the right, right about there. We're going to do the same thing on the left side, so making sure we line up the top corner and the distance. Starting from the outside on the left, we'll curve in towards the middle. Now from here we're going to come down on the sides. From here I'm going to draw a line coming down that's slightly in an angle coming towards the right side. Just giving it a very slight angle. Do the same thing on the right side, making sure again that they're the same length. Now we're going to connect these, this point on the left to the right, and we're going to come across and just push it up in the middle here. So coming from the left side, curving up towards the right, and then I'm going to connect these two points with a curve. So rounding it out in the middle, and then curving down the bottom of the right side lens. So coming down, and then curving up. Now from here, I'm going to draw the outside edge of the frame. So we're going to give some thickness around the frame. So up here on the left, I'm going to go up a little bit and draw that same angled line coming down. And on the right side, we'll do the same thing. Now I'm just going to trace around and just kind of give it that same even thickness all the way around the bottom edge of the frame. So starting on the left, curving up in the middle, and then I'm going to come down on the right, and then just join up with the end. Like this. Now we're going to take these corners and just come up to about halfway along the lens, and I'm just going to draw a straight line down the middle. So we're going to come up to the corner, curve up with that same curve of the lens, and then as we get to about the middle of this lens, we draw a straight line coming down. In the middle of this lens, we're going to draw that straight line, and then work our way from left to right. That same curve. Now we're going to go up here to the top corner and just step down just slightly, and then draw a curve going down towards the middle. Starting up here on the left, we're going to come down just a little bit, curve down the middle, and then back up on the right side. Now from here, there's a little trim on the inside edge. So what we're going to do, starting in the middle, we're going to come down a little bit and draw a little point. From here, I'm just going to come up with a straight angled line up to the right. We're going to take that point and go up to the left here, leaving a little bit of a border along the top. Now we're going to make this a little bit thicker, so we're going to step down a little bit on the left and just come down in an angle, trying to keep it evenly thick all the way through, leaving a little gap in the middle here because we're going to come down with two straight lines, leaving a little frame around the edge there. Okay, so now that we've got that, let's go ahead and draw in the bottom half of the face. Now with the chin, we're going to draw down to about here, so we're going to draw sort of like a half circle. Stepping in on the left, we're going to curve down to where my finger is and up on the right. So curving down, and then curving up towards the right side. Now from here, let's draw in the goatee. In the middle here, just below this goggle, we're going to draw two lines down the middle. From the top corner, we're going to curve towards the left, and it comes straight down. On the right, we'll do the mirror. We're going to come down on the right side. It comes straight down with a straight line. And now from this bottom point, we're going to just come over across to the left. Now, getting a little bit thinner as we get to the outside, we're going to draw a straight line coming down, but we're not going to go all the way. We're going to leave a little gap here. Same thing on the right side. Coming down. Now we're going to connect those two points with a curve, leaving a little gap along the bottom. We're going to go back in and color that in later. Let's give them a little bit of a smirk. So from left to right, we're going to curve up. Make it a little bit higher on the right side, and then we're just going to put a little bracket on the end. Underneath this lip, we're just going to draw a little curve on the bottom there. Okay, let's go back up to the top and draw the top of the head. Now the top of the head is quite big, and it's basically the other half of the circle. So we're going to go pretty tall, right about there. Starting on the left, just inside of that goggle, we're going to curve up to the top. So making sure that I'm aiming back over towards the right side. The same curve like this, nice and even. Now let's draw the hairline. 
So up here, we're going to step in on either side, and we're going to make this quite high. The hairline is quite tall. So up here on the left side, we're going to step in a little bit, draw a little point. On the right, we're going to go straight across and draw a point. So you can see there's a little space in between the edge of the head and that point. We're going to connect those two points with a curve. It goes up in the middle and then down on the sides. From the side here, we're going to curve down. And as we get down to the bottom towards the goggles, we're going to make it a little bit wider. So the space in between these two lines is, goes a little bit wider. Do the same thing on the right side. Let's go ahead and draw in some ears. So halfway down this, this uh, goggle, along this line, we're going to start here and draw a curve going up and then back in towards the head for one ear. Again, same thing on the right side. So halfway down this line, curve out to the outside and right back into the head. A little bit of inner ear detail. We're going to step in here and just draw a curve going in towards the head. Let's draw the edge of the goggle strap. So on the side here, at the corner, we're going to step down a little bit and draw an angled line going out and then a line coming down, tucking in behind the ear. Same thing on the right. So stepping down a bit, angling down and straight line right in behind the ear. So we got the general basics of the head. Let's get into the body. So with these chibis, I draw the upper torso quite short. So the full body, I'm going to draw the legs down to about here. So halfway, I'm going to draw the waist. Starting on either side of the goatee, on the bottom below the chin, I'm going to draw a curve going out on the left side and on the right. Let's connect those two points with a curve going down the middle and then back up on the right side. I'm going to make this thicker for the dot line. So just following that same contour, so that same curve just above. Now from here, let's go up to the chest area. So the upper chest, this is plate that sits up here. So just below here, we're going to draw a curve from left to right. And we're going to keep this detail quite simple. On the edge here, we're going to draw a little strap. From here, we're going to draw a curve, following that same curve as the outside edge of the body on both sides. And here, we're going to draw the little open shirt. So on the left, we're going to curve towards the middle. And then we're going to curve back up towards the right side. Now we're going to just thicken this up and draw a little bit of detail here. So from this corner, underneath the chin, we're going to curve in, following that same curve of the open shirt on both sides. Now in here, I'm just going to trace that same curve until I run out of space. So two and three. One, two, three. Just to fill in that little space on the inside. Now down the middle, Right where this V hits this line, draw a straight line coming down, a little short line. We're going to draw a little buckle here. We're going to cross, come down with two shorter lines on either side to create a rectangle. Like this. And just for that little buckle strap, I'm just going to draw a little dart. Okay, so a little arrow going towards the left. Now from here, let's draw the stripes that go across. From this corner, I'm going to go up in an angle aiming towards the left side, and then from here I'm going to change angles and go straight up into that little corner there. So going up and changing angles and going straight up. We're going to draw that same thing from the bottom corners. Following that same line and going up. On the right we'll do the same thing. Change angles. I'm going to, thick, I'm going to split this in half for a little added detail. So just going down the middle in between those two lines and just splitting it like that. On the hips, let's draw a couple curves. So up here above the belt line, I'm gonna draw a curve going in on the left and right. And then the rib panels, from here I'm gonna draw a curve going up. On the right, we'll do the same thing. And now we're gonna draw two lines inside. Just straight angled lines on both sides inside that rib panel. And then on these two curves, I'm gonna connect a little curve that goes up and down on both sides. Okay, so that's as far as I want to go with the detail in the upper body. Let's get down to the legs. Now I'm going to have the legs bent and the toes sort of pointing down as if he's sort of lifting off the air. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in the middle, come down to about here and draw a curve for the lower torso. From here I'm going to step in on the left side, draw an angled line towards the left, and then I'm going to curve in towards the heel this way. Now the leg's going to come this way like this, and the foot's going to be right here. So I'm going to take this point and curve all the way around to the top 
of the foot, almost like an oval. Okay, so like an angled oval. From here, I'm gonna go up to the front of the toe and curve and taper out the sole of the boot. So it gets a little bit thicker as it goes towards the back of the heel. From this point, I'm gonna curve in towards that sole, leaving a little gap here so you can see there's some space here. From this point, I'm gonna find the halfway between the waist and the front ankle, right about here. So you can see the legs are gonna be angled this way. Put a point right there. From the hip, I'm gonna curve right to that point. And from that point, I'll curve towards the ankle. Before I do any more detail though, let's go to the right side and draw the exact same thing. So stepping in on the inside leg, curving in, and in the opposite direction, curving down to the heel. Now from here, I'm gonna curve around towards the front of the ankle. So curving around like this. Let's go ahead and draw that sole. So I'm gonna start at the back of the heel this time, curving around to the front of the foot and then tapering so it basically just vanishes off at the front of the toe. From here, I'm gonna curve to the heel, leaving that space, curving around like this. Now halfway between this hip and the front of the foot, right here, I'm gonna draw a point. From the hip, I'm gonna curve to that point and then curve down towards that ankle. Okay, now let's add a little bit of detail here. So at the front of the knee, right here at this little point, I'm gonna draw a curve going up. So going up this way. And from this point, I'm gonna curve right into the inner part of the knee. Let's go to the right side and draw the same thing. So from here, I'm gonna curve up, a little swoop, and connecting those two points with a curve. Now we're gonna add that little strip in the inside, that little red detail. So from this corner, this point, I'm gonna curve or angle a line out and then just follow this curve to a point on the kneecap. Let's do the same thing on the right. So going up in an angle and then curving to the point on the knee. Let's go ahead and draw in some more detail. So here, I'm gonna drop down a little bit and draw a curve going from the front to the back of the boot. Same thing on the right side. And then here, I'm gonna draw a little bit of detail. So from this point, to here, draw a little curve, like a D shape. On this side here, I'm gonna draw the opposite curve. Opposite curve on this side, and then from point to point, draw a curve. Now, for the front of the boot, I'm gonna draw a little strap. So from here, I'm gonna curve down to the sole. Curving down like this. And in the front of the toe, all I wanna do is draw a curve like that. I'm gonna draw that twice. So here, leaving a little gap, curving to the sole, and then drawing a little detail like that. For the right side, do the same thing. So curve, and then at the toe, do one more. And so like that. Okay, so we got the legs. Let's get into the arms, the shoulder pads. So up here, I'm gonna step down a little bit on either side and draw the shoulders. So right here, where this curve goes up to this point, I'm gonna curve out a line. Do that on both sides. From here, I'm gonna curve up and underneath the head. Just like so. From here, let's draw a little bit of detail in here. So on the left side here, I'm gonna step up, curve along that bottom edge, just to about here, and I'm gonna reverse the curve going up underneath the head. Let's follow that exact same line up here, just to make it a little bit thicker. Just like that. I'm gonna go up here and do it in the opposite direction. So coming down, and following that bottom edge, and then we're just gonna make that thicker long here. Now from here, I'm gonna draw the arms going into two fists. So it's gonna come down to the elbows and out to the hands. So I'm gonna to have to draw the hands in first. So I'm gonna start with the inner part of the wrist here. So if I imagine the arm coming down to the elbow, coming out here, I'm gonna draw the thumb first. So from here, I'm gonna curve around like this. From this point, I'm gonna curve this little line. This is for this part right here. Let's layer in some fingers. So on the thumb, I'm gonna curve around and tuck that in underneath the thumb. We're gonna do an overlap from here, curving around and tucking that underneath the thumb. And then one last time, stepping down to the bottom of this finger, curving around like this. Now I'm gonna draw the outside palm of the hand coming around and I'm gonna connect to that point in the wrist, just like so. From here, I'm gonna draw in the upper part of the arm. So right here, I'm gonna draw an angled line, going in towards the chin, aiming towards the chin, 
I'm gonna go up and tuck this in underneath the shoulder pad. From here, I'm gonna go back down below the wrist here and curve in behind the body. Let's draw on a wrist strap. So right here on the forearm, let's draw a little curve following that same wrist curve here. And then up in the upper arm, I'm just gonna draw a curve for part of the shirt sticking out. Let's go over to the right, oh, before I forget, I'm gonna draw the fingerless gloves. So on this thumb here, this point, I'm just gonna draw a little curve like that because I'm gonna color this area in black. Let's go to this side, so elbows to the hand, starting on the thumb right here. I'm just gonna curve a little swirl like that. Let's draw that little thumb glove first, or the fingerless glove detail first, so that little curve. We'll draw the one finger, so a curve like this, tucked in underneath the thumb, overlapping around, and then one last time, just below this finger, curve around like this. Now I'm gonna go to this side on the thumb and curve all the way around to the back of the hand there. Let's go ahead and draw in that curve for the meat of the hand here. So here, draw a curve like that. We'll draw the upper part of the arm. So right here on the wrist, angling up like I did here, and then tucking this in underneath the shoulder pad. Beside this, underneath this wrist here, I'm just gonna curve this line underneath the body. And then up here, we're gonna draw that wrist strap. So that little curve. And then up here, just that undershirt underneath. Now, the final stage are the wings. I'm just gonna draw two short set of wings going up in an angle this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start, now this sort of looks like it's sort of in two pieces. I'm gonna start from this point where the head meets the shoulder pad, go up in an angle just below this ear, just like that. From this point, I'm gonna change the direction and go up in an angle, going upwards to the tip of the wing. Let's go over to the right side and do the same thing. So from this point, I'm gonna curve, I'm gonna draw a straight line going up, like that, and then changing directions to a point in the tip of the wing. Let's go back to the left side, we're gonna take this point and just draw an angled line like this. So it's a, basically a 90 degree angle here. From this point, I'm gonna come down an angle. So it's looking like it's getting wider as it gets towards the base of this wing here. We're gonna come out that same angle as we have on this edge here. Now from this point, I'm gonna change direction. So it's going out, we're gonna draw a little angled line. So this angle is the same direction as this angle and this angle here. From here, I'm gonna come down in an angle, and then I'm gonna tuck this in. So from here, I'm gonna go in and tuck this in behind the hand. Let's go over to the right side and draw in this detail. So I'm gonna to try to balance this out. So from this point, draw an angled line. We're gonna come down in an angle so it gets a little bit wider as it comes down. Draw a short line across, and then we're gonna go up with a short line, come out in an angle. Now this is gonna come down right about there, and this is gonna get tucked in between the thumb and the finger. Okay, so that's pretty balanced. Now let's get into some detail on the wing. So what I wanna do is keep the wings pretty simple. So up here, I'm just gonna trim around the outer tr perimeter of this wing. So here I'm just gonna draw a little short line, right, to follow this line up here. Now I'm gonna take this point and follow this line on the inside, going down, and just passing that corner so that when I pull this line in, following this line, get this nice thick trim up here. Now we're gonna follow this line here on the inside to right about there. And then I'm gonna come down at an angle and then I'm gonna trace out the bottom edge. So just following that same line all the way across like that. Okay, so it looks like there's like a frame around the inside. Let's go ahead and do the same thing on the right side. So up here I'm gonna draw a line across. Now I'm gonna draw that same line up this way. I'm going across like that. And pulling this back to follow this line here. And take this line, pull it down like this, come down in an angle, and then basically trim out the bottom edge here. Just like that. So the last thing I wanna do is draw a little bit of detail here for the red and white sort of detail. So I'm gonna take this point and pull it up. I'm gonna draw another line in that same angle right here. And then on this side, I'm gonna do the same thing. So following that in here. Now this point here is a little bit narrower than this side. So I'm just gonna move it over a little bit. 
Just draw an angled line like that. Now from corner to corner, from here to here, I'm drawing an angled line. From here, I'm gonna go up in an angled line and just tuck that in behind the body. Let's do the same thing here. So from corner to corner, draw a straight line. And then from here, I'm just gonna tuck this in behind the body there. And that's pretty much it. There we have it. There's Chibi Falcon. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Thanks for watching. And make sure you check out our Chibi playlist. I have a ton of characters in there. I'll be adding more every week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.